guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a Whole Foods haul. So I just went to Whole Foods and we got a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got and I'm gonna tell you guys if I know any information about certain things, I'll tell you. And if not, I'm just gonna put it aside. So first, first I'm gonna start with this bag right here. So, so I'm gonna start with this because I'm gonna leave it out so I can drink it through this video. But this is a cold brew salted caramel almond milk coffee. So it has no dairy in it and it has 100 calories per one bottle, which is pretty good. So that's the first thing that I got. Next, I got this Tony's chocolate. It's new, I've never really seen it before, but it's like a huge chocolate bar. So I figured I had to get it. And this one also doesn't have any dairy in it, which is really nice because I have dairy allergy, as you guys know. And this one is, I think this is a chocolate almond sea salt. And I got this pumpkin spice chocolate it's pumpkin spice cho hot chocolate stuff. So it has like an orange cap and everything and it's just, you know, it's just hot chocolate, but it's pumpkin spice. So this is gonna be interesting. And to go along with that, I grabbed some of these vegan marshmallows, which are really, really good. And if you guys haven't tried them in your hot chocolate yet, you definitely need to. If you watch one of my first videos, my organic market haul, I also had these in there. So I'll link that video up here if you guys wanna watch that. But these, I just, I always buy them because they're just really, really good. I got some deodorant. So I've never tried this brand before. It's Alafia Al or something. <clears throat> Coconut Rishi deodorant. Anyway, it's a uh, lavender and charcoal and it smells really good. And after detoxing my armpits, I'm gonna try this out and see if it works better for me than the regular like secret deodorants. I grabbed some vegan chocolate chip cookies. I just grabbed two of them. So this is what they look like and they're just regular chocolate chip cookies, so we're not gonna go into detail about those. Next, we got some Dea Margarita pizza. So it's dairy-free, and I've never tried this kind before, but I'm sure it's amazing, so we got some of that. And then, of course, Dea mozzarella cheese, because I'm gonna be making something, I'm gonna be making artichoke dip, so I had to have cheese, and this is the kind of cheese that I can have. So it's just, I really like this brand. Um, it doesn't really melt super well, but if you're mixing it in with things, it's pretty good. I wouldn't just like put this on a pizza though because it doesn't really melt that well, like I said. Next, we got some hummus. We got some roasted red pepper and some Hope Buffalo Blue hummus. So I've never tried this one before, so it's gonna be interesting. This one's really good. Then we got some kombucha, of course. So if you guys haven't tried kombucha, I highly recommend it. It's really, really good for your gut and it helps you detox. We'll be on the toilet all day if you drink it though. So just be prepared for that unless you drink it all the time. This one is dragon fruit lemongrass kombucha. So I haven't tried this kind before, but I'm pretty excited to try that kind. Then of course, got some new wine to try. This one's like really pretty. It's a rosé and it's Cloudville, so. We got some coconut kettle cooked potato chips with sea salt. Apparently these are just, they're better for you than regular chips because they're made with coconut oil instead of oil. So I haven't tried them yet, but apparently they're really good. Okay, then we got some coconut whitening toothpaste, which is not actually for me, but I have heard good things about this brand. You guys try that out. We got some black elderberry syrup. Um, this is great when you're sick. It's a little pricey, but it's totally worth it because it takes care of everything that you're feeling. And you can also get gummies and stuff. Really good, definitely worth it. We got some more kombucha. Uh, this is pomegranate kombucha. There's lots of different kombuchas you can try. Uh, I haven't tried this one. I haven't tried this one either, but I'm sure it's good. Um, tortilla chips. Not really much to say about these other, other than they're really good in there from Whole Foods, and if it's from Whole Foods, it's always good. We got some sourdough bread with no dairy in it, which they had a sample of this out, and we just had to get it because it was really good. I got some dairy-free little chocolates, and they're like individually wrapped, so I thought those were really cute, and I'm excited to try this, so lots of chocolate, lots of kombucha. Last but not least, just a little bit of ginger root for tea and everything. So that is our Whole Foods haul. 
And if you guys have any questions about Whole Foods, let me know in the comments. Um, also let me know in the comments what your favorite thing to get from Whole Foods is. And if you don't have a Whole Foods close to you and you're ever in an area where there is one, I definitely suggest going to check it out because it is a great store with lots of gluten-free, dairy-free, friendly, allergy-friendly products. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification so you guys don't miss when I post a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!